Let me try and search for some nice swing trading strategy today on YouTube. आ गया ऐड पहले मुझे बहुत लॉसेस होते थे फिर मैंने यूट्यूब पे एक 99 परसेंट एक्यूरेसी वाली ट्रेंडिंग स्ट्रेटेजी देखी और अब मेरे पास पैसा ही पैसा है मिस्टर बी आर नागराज शास्त्री एंड शिव पुजारी फॉर देयर वंडरफुल कॉमेंट्स नाउ बिफोर वी गो ऑन टू आर 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 ट्रेंडिंग स्ट्रेटेजी लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ यू वांट टू लर्न अबाउट टेक्निकल एनालिसिस इन एब्सोल्यूट डिटेल इन अ वेरी सिंपलीफाइड एंड सिस्टमेटिक मैनर डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेक आउट आवर कोर्स ऑन टेक्निकल एनालिसिस ऑन आवर वेबसाइट www.rachnaranade.com also you have a special coupon code for you wherein you can get some additional discounts as well now what is the name of our today's strategy it is rr super trending strategy okay but we have to visualize that whenever i talk about any strategy i'm sure some points might be coming to your mind first thing that comes up to your mind could be what indicators are we going to use theek okay. hai second point that comes to my mind is what should be the time frame that i should be using for this should i be going ahead with a daily time frame or a weekly time frame a monthly time frame what third thing that you that would come to your mind would be what all signals if i get or what could be the point wherein i should enter into this trade what could be the point where i should book my profit what could it, could be the point where i book a stop loss or put a stop loss as well so all these things keeping in mind now let's go through one by one okay so have a look at this table we'll go through one by one first thing is what which indicators right two major indicators we are going to use here which two major indicators one is a super trend indicator so this is a trend following indicator and second one we are going to use is a pivot point and pivot point is nothing but one of the leading indicators leading indicator is basically an indicator which tells that ideally this should happen okay it ideally has the capacity to tell things in advance but a lagging indicator generally shows comparatively late it it's thoda ट्यूब लाइट जैसा है थोड़ा लेट आता है उसका रिजल्ट ओके दैट्स लाइक अ लैगिंग इंडिकेटर नाउ सेकंड थिंग अगेन एज आई मेंशन व्हाट कुड बी द एंट्री पॉइंट फॉर दिस आइडियली इफ द प्राइस ऑफ द स्टॉक इज इन ग्रीन द सुपर ट्रेंड इट हैज क्रॉस्ड द सुपर ट्रेंड एंड इट गोज अबव आर वन नाउ व्हाट डज इट मीन ट्रेंड इज शोइंग पॉजिटिव प्लस इट हैज आल्सो क्रॉस्ड द आर वन इन द पिवट पॉइंट ओके इट मींस दैट नाउ इट इज शोइंग मोमेंटम इट कैन नाउ sky rocket quickly that is when we could have an entry point but if you are unable to find any stock in this category you could also go ahead with another category wherein price is already in green in the super trend plus it has gone above the pivot point at least that could be the second possibility right now comes the target price ideally from here if if our if our entry points are met then target should be a 10% profit and of course the one is to two risk reward ratio your stop loss should be at 5% from your entry point what could be the time frame in which i look at this setup time frame for this will be a daily time frame now what have we done is that we try to back test this strategy and the back testing was done majorly on nifty stocks only so whenever we are using this strategy for our own trading purposes also we use this only typically for nifty stocks because the accuracy rate is a shade higher in nifty stocks for this right so uh, i hope these points are clear and also you have to keep one more point in mind before you take any position you just can't look at these two parameters before taking any position you also have to check what are the candlesticks you are, i mean any specific candle if we can see you can check the price action you can check where is the support level where is the resistance level any pattern which is being formed all these things are to be kept in mind and then only ideally you should you should be taking any position now that you have understood the theory now let's move on with some practical examples 
All right, so let's go to our first example, which is of Bajaj Finance Limited. So what I've done is that I've gone to the indicators tab and then I've put pivot points, which already appears on the screen right now. And second one is super trend, right? And you can see here on the chart as well. So I've already marked 15th July just for your reference point so that you understand whatever I'm trying to teach you in a very simplified manner. I'm zooming this in. Now let's see whether our first point is met or not. What you can see on 18th July is that first time the super trend now has gone bullish. Here you can see the green one starts here, right? The So price has gone into the bullish zone of the super trend and here you can see this is the R1 5972 and the price on this day that is 18th July 2022 closed on at 6059 so ideally this should be the candle where you should have taken the entry because both conditions super trend as well as r1 being crossed so price should go above that and price should also close above r1 so that is important right so assume that we took the trade at just 329 or so okay so assuming that the uh, trade was taken somewhere around 6059 now what will happen ideally what should be my target target should be 10 percent from here so let's try and measure whether 10 percent was hit or not so i'm taking the price from the closing till da, 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 during the day only it was hit on 28th of july in next almost 10 days this was hit and trading sessions to or be come reggae and here if you see even on this day itself on the closing basis it has gone up almost 16 17 percent actual has gone above 25 percent also so with this i hope you have understood how this acted as a trending indicator number one trend was anyways positive the price crossed above that closed above that plus r1 was crossed let me take another example so that we reiterate on the same point let us take this example of your favorite stock which is itc i'm zooming the data again and i've already marked 2nd september as a reference point here we are on the 5th of September, which was a Monday. Again, now understand. Was this the day when the price went into the green super trend or went into the bullish super trend? Answer is no. If you can see here, I'm just zooming out and you can see that the price, are kya baat hai? price has been in this green zone for quite a long time. OMG, the, from this time, almost six months price is in the green zone only of the super trend but why am i talking about this point only because here is the point where you can see that the price has gone in the r has crossed and has closed above r1 also right so now if i were to take a trade here at 326 let me see how much was the uh, gain from here till here achha, it is only 5.9 so let me do one thing let me zoom out and see achha, till now trade has not been closed yet so even if i had taken a trade here let us see what has happened till date till date you can see till the highest point still is almost nine percent trade has not yet been closed so this is an open trade as of now but does it make entering at this point answer is no because the entry point was at what level entry point was at the level of almost 328 rupees what could have been the stop loss stop loss could have been at five percent below the entry point i hope you have understood how this example how this rr super trending strategy works with the help of two examples well, now that you have understood the examples, let me tell you two more important points. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, these strategies work better in trending markets rather than in sideways market. And second is that if you want to keep yourself updated about which stocks are in action, is there any specific stock where some price action has been seen, where some specific pattern has been seen and that too absolutely free of cost then how do we go about it? You just have to visit our website, rachnaranade.com. Then you can see a blog section here. You just have to click on that blog section. Once you go inside this, you can see that we upload blogs every single day, not only about IPO analysis, but about various stocks as well. For example, ABB, Triple Top. You can see Ambuja Cements with a consolidation breakout and a lot more. Well, other than this, what we do is we also put a weekly review of the blog. And if you scroll down, you will see that we had discussed on 7th October about bank of baroda wherein we had said that if it sustains above 131 it shows bullishness and see it made a high of 151 and almost 16 percent upside so if you want to know more about such things please don't forget to check out our blog on our website rachnaranade.com i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want you can know more about macd indicator just by clicking here and if you want to know more about stock for the next decade you can click here till then take care jahin and bye bye